Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Look, he's a mandatory. Who? Brazil? Not in me, no. We just got a mandatory out of the way tonight. So we got a, we got plenty of, like, we, we don't have to fight a mandatory. Sorry. We don't have to fight a mandatory anytime soon. Do you think he's scared? Is easier or harder to make the Josh? Ask Eddie Hearn. <laughs> Ask Eddie Hearn. Dude, Eddie Hearn wasn't talking about Deontay before he looked. He wasn't talking about Deontay before he looked like that. All I've been hearing is Dillian White, Dillian White, Dillian White, Dillian White. I haven't heard him talk about Deontay. All I've heard him do is diminish Deontay. You know? And by the way, if, 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 if Deontay hit AJ Flush the way Klitschko hit AJ Flush, he would be asleep. And he certainly wouldn't have two minutes to do the chicken dance. He'd have about 14 seconds until a combination knocked him cold. Do you think he's scared of him in 2019, Joshua, with a, with a performance like this? I don't think Josh. I think Joshua is a great young athlete. I, I'm, I'm not going to disrespect Joshua. I don't think Joshua scared anybody. But I don't think he beats Deontay Wilder. But, but I mean, I think that he's got people around him that are smart. Eddie Hearn knows Anthony Joshua's, like, biggest nightmare is named Deontay Wilder. How close no. are you guys to having that fight? Have, have, have you and Eddie Hearn ever That's talked no about club. it? I mean, I, I, there's no – no, I, I don't think anyone's close to having that fight right no, now. I mean, have you guys had conversations? I mean, I think that everyone knows there's an inevitability to that fight, but there's, there's like, I, I don't think right now, you know, I mean, look, there's, there's, there, there are guys he can fight in Great Britain, you know, the winner of Baloo and Hay. You know, I, I'd like to see Tyson Fury come out of, you know, uh, of, of his, where, where he is right now, clean, together, healthy, and licensed again, because that guy's a terrific heavyweight, and, and, and you know, he, he beat, you know, he beat, let's go from pillar to post, Tyson Fury. And Tyson Fury can really fight. And, and if that guy's back in shape and healthy or whatever, and you have Joshua, you have Fury, you have Deontay, you have a division that has some incredible excitement at the top of the division. You know? I mean, I don't know what Eddie's going to do with AJ you know, in the future, but I'll take them at their word. They said by the end of 2018 they think they'll be ready. So let's let's make it. Let's make you it. You didn't seem too keen on the Dillian White fight. Who the fuck is Dillian White? No offense. Who is he? But what are you talking about? Why are you asking about him? Would you recognize him if he walked down this motherfucking hallway? Would you even know who the let fuck me, he is? Let, let me finish. Wilder said if he got Joshua guaranteed, he would be willing to fight him. Is that something you would be even interested in? Or you don't even think you have Deontay's to... Deontay's the heavyweight champ in the world. He's the fucking boss. But since when does the boss travel abroad to fight somebody who's an ordinary dude for the right for the right to fight another champion? Yeah, Why? Because his promoter him. says so? Get the fuck out of here. He's gonna, he's gonna pull a numbers game. Get the fuck out of here. You know he's gonna pull a numbers game and say he's gonna take the crown back. No, man, it's just like, I don't get this whole point, this whole like, this idea like, 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 Oh yeah, it's gonna make it bigger in Great Britain. No, it's not, man. You know, you the people in Great people UK boxing fans are the loudest. The probably in, in number, they're 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 as as great a number as any fans on earth. They they're the loud. They're great fans. They support the sport like almost no place else in the world. They're smart fans. The 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 the, 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 the seventy thousand for Takum. So Wild and Joshua would be here. Yeah, but you know what? Like the, the, the fact here's a problem. It's business. Eddie's a promoter. And he's not a dumb guy. I've known him since he's a kid. One thing I would never say about Eddie is that he's an idiot. He's not. When you can do 70000 with Takam, maybe you don't want to immediately go into a ring with a guy that might knock your fucking head off. Now, can Facts. Brooklyn sustain, Facts. from a pragmatic standpoint, can Brooklyn sustain a Joshua Wilder fight? Would you have to take it? I think a Joshua Wilder fight would probably... Could Brooklyn sustain it? Look, Brooklyn could sustain anything. You'd sell out this building, obviously. Brooklyn could sustain any anything, but you only have but, power on playing but, right. but you know you yeah. you got you know the, you, you, Vegas is a potential destination. There are stadiums that would be potential destinations, and UK is not out of the question. Deontay made it very clear in his post-fight interview in the ring he was willing to go to Russia, so he wouldn't be willing to go to the UK. You know, and look, the last couple of weeks, you know, Joshua did what he had to do with against the Com. Deontay couldn't have made a more emphatic statement than he did today. Absolutely. They both did what they were supposed to do. They Absolutely. both won. They both won. But there's nothing that they can do next bigger than them fighting each other. Absolutely. 
and, and, and ordering some bo like bozoish fight because some fucking promoter in the UK wants another payday for one of his ordinary guys. That's not a reason to make a fight. It just isn't. Like, you, you, you want to make the best fight for boxing fans. You want to make the best fight for the world of boxing. Make a fight that really creates the man. The, the baddest man on the planet. And you know what? Eddie can believe, and, he, and AJ can believe, and by the way, AJ's supposed to believe that he's the baddest man on the planet. I got a huge guy in the back right now with, with the commission. He's going to come out for a press conference in a few minutes, and he knows that he's the baddest man on the planet. The baddest man on the planet right now is named Deontay Wilder. That's the baddest man on the planet. And you know what AJ's supposed to think he is? Eddie Hearn's supposed to think AJ is? The UK fans can believe that, that, that AJ is. Maybe it's also time for the American fans to start giving props to their American heavyweight champion. Yeah. Right? Because the reason that he hasn't had a defining fight isn't any reason of his. If he would have gone to, to Russia for Povetkin, I mean, God knows how jacked up Povetkin would have been. I think he would have knocked out Povetkin as jacked up as he might have been. You know? N none of these fights that haven't happened for Deontay over the last couple of years have been because we didn't want them or Deontay didn't want them. So, like, you know, this whole defining fight thing, hey, and, and just ask yourself another question. As great as Vladimir Klitschko was, would the version of Glad Vladimir Klitschko that lost to, and, I, and believe me, I think Vladimir Klitschko is one of the greatest heavyweights of all time, in the top ten, clearly a Hall of Famer, one of the great heavyweights ever. The version that lost to Anthony Joshua, the version that lost to Tyson Fury, would have lost also to Deontay Wilder. In his 40s, that version of, of, of Vladimir, I don't believe, would have beaten Deontay either. So, like, let's cut the bullshit. At some point in the next, you know, 12 months or so, let's make the fight everyone wants to see. Would you think that Luis King Kong Ortiz being in attendance for Wilder to run too? He's allowed to come to a fight. You know, you're allowed to come to a fight. I mean, that, that, that adverse test cost him a lot of money and an opportunity, you know, at, at a heavyweight championship. And, um, and I don't know all the details. I mean, like, I, you know, I know that Povetkin's a fucking cheater, but, but with respect to, to the Ortiz, I don't know about his heart condition and all that other stuff. I don't know everything that has to do with it. I, I, I will say that, like, you got to ask yourself some questions based upon his history, but at the same time, if the man, you know, I, I don't know why he didn't disclose it. I mean, at the very least, he should have disclosed it. But you know what? Maybe it was just a dumb mistake. Maybe it wasn't cheating. Now, do you think Joshua does the same thing to Tipper Mains to Brown tonight? No. I don't think he's capable of doing the same thing to Tipper Mains to Burn tonight. He hasn't really done the same thing to just about anybody. I mean, Because you know that's the argument that they're going to make. Oh, but come, all right. I mean, uh, you know what? Like, he doesn't punch like Deontay. There's only one heavyweight in the world right now that channels back, and he doesn't look anything like him, but he has that one-punch knockout power that Mike Tyson had. He has that ability, you know, Deontay Wilder could be, Deontay Wilder could, could, could be down four or five rounds in a fight, and if he lands one punch, you are asleep. There's nobody else, there's no other heavyweight in the world that can, that can do that. That is the great equalizer, man. That's like the great, and there's nothing more exciting than that in all the sports. It's it, really, it's one of the most exciting things in sports. A guy that can take your head off with one punch. Yeah. So Joshua Anthony should happen. I mean, so Joshua Wilder should happen now. You know what? I'm not even saying that. If Eddie came, you know, just come honest, man. Eddie, like I've known you since you're nine years old, bro. Come honest. If you think your guy needs a little bit more polishing, if he needs some more experience, if you want to fight a few more fights before you do it. Then say that, but cut the shit with like, you know, you got to fight Dillian White and you got to do this. No, we don't have to do anything you say, bro. We don't have to do anything you say. We don't. I mean, you know. What's your, mes what's your message to the UTA? To the UK fans. They're great fans, man. Look, they're great you fans. Think they should support any fight other than Wilder. I think that they should support their champion the way America should support their champion. I think all fans should know the best heavyweight fight you can make in the world is Anthony Joshua and Wilder. That is the best fight. The UK fans should want that. I think they will. The American fans should want that. I think they will. I'll tell you this. 
I hope that the American fans start embracing and supporting their American heavyweight champion the way the UK supports AJ. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.